All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this memory I ordered. Let's see here, plain packaging. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that this memory is fully buffered ECC server RAM, it's DDR2, but it only cost me, I think like 40 bucks with shipping for 16 gigs. Comparably, for just normal everyday desktop workstation RAM, that's gonna cost me close to $120, $150. I don't understand why, it blows my mind. I think it has something to do with supply and demand. There's less demand for the server memory because everyone's throwing out servers. Let's go ahead and rip into this. This was actually purchased from ah, somebody else, not from, I better look at this over here. This is, this is purchased from someone other than I bought the eight gigs I originally had. Uh, customer support, thank you for your order. Not for PC. Gotta make sure you know that. It's a big thing, you can find these all over the place, but they are not for the PC. Look at that, okay. The last one I had uh, ordered, they were in a, they were actually, all these were attached. <laughs> it was kind of interesting uh, to have, but these were actually kind of, oh, look at this. They're actually name brand. Wait, really? I, I don't know what brand was the last one was, but this, look at that. Nice. Let's see if we can get the auto focus to work. No, maybe not, but you can see that's a, that's a Kingston right there. Wow. Kingston fully buffered dim warning hot surface not really that hot but hey it will be look at that man you gotta love that I was not expecting that that is that is news to me I, I was not expecting to have Kingston are they all Kingston 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 Kingston. Let me see if I get. It will not focus. I'm gonna have to work on that. But anyway, that is really cool. These are all Kingston brand. So hey, that's not the worst. The worst thing. Hopefully these will work with my existing uh, existing mess. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Well, we got it downstairs now, and hopefully we can set this up for you to see. Oh, there's autofocus. All right, that's nice. All right, let's go ahead and open her up. Oh, she's beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Of course, our primary focus is going to be on the upper parts, but look at this. It's just kind of, kind of dirty. Let's see, pop that off. Fan housing. Uh, if I can remember how to do it, it's just kind of pries off. But there was a clip. Just to like hold that. No, that just holds the other thing in. Um, proper system cooling will not be achieved if this baffle is removed. Well, I'm utterly baffled. I gotta remove it. Here we go. Oh dear. Can't cool the memory chips very well, but that's all right. So as you can see, two four terabyte hard drives right here and three SCSI drives for the operating system and uh, virtual machines right there. That will be upgraded. Upgrade, upgrade, and we're upgrading the memory today. But first, this thing's filthy. Hmm. 
That was fun. Yes, I see. It should have cooled the memory chips enough for me to get access. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Uh, first of all, we do need to take these off, though. Uh, now here's the clip. Pop that there. There we go. Or at least let's take that one off. All right. Now I have to remember which ones I'm replacing. We got four. We need to take four out. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that the silver ones are the ones I installed. So the blue ones need to come out. What do we got here? Void if removed. I better not remove that then. One gig. Yep, that one needs to go. And this is a, what we got here? Uh, 512. Oh, let's stick 512. We don't need that either. Awesome. I think it's the same right here. There's uh, one gig. And this one should be 512. 512. All right. So that opens up four slots for us. And our new Kingston Ram. Oh, shiny. And not dusty at all. These are four gig sticks. So it's four times four and well, you can do math, I hope. There's a little hint. It might be a 16. Just maybe. The other four sticks of RAM that I have in here are two gig sticks. So we have eight and 16 together. Sweet. Well, now that we actually have the memory installed, let's go ahead and see what kind of uh, benefits we can reap from that. So just a little disclaimer here. Um, I have already made some changes uh, to the system after installing the memory, but that's just because I have the flu. And uh, by the time, well, I was getting over it really, but by the time I was done recording the installation, I took a nap and it's been a couple days now. Well, first of all, we'll go ahead and see here, 24 gigs. Look at that, 8 plus 16 is indeed 24. And up, oh, new hardware detected, experience needs to be refreshed. I don't think that's going to change at all. But we'll just do that for the fun of it. Oh, phone assessment, can we run over a terminal server session? Please try physical monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Oh, all right, well, we're not going to worry about that then. Forget it. But we got 24 gigs. And before I was running 90% utilization. As you can see, that's no longer the case. Yes, I see. Close that out. And right off the bat, boop, 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 I have given this guy from 512 megs to a full gig. This is still only one gig, but we're going to upgrade that to two gigs, which is going to be just wonderful. Uh, Brain has finally went from six gigs to eight gigs. And then I'm going to have a few more systems I can run now, which is great because I can go and make a video about where adware comes from. And then a second video, how to remove adware for beginners. So I am really, really excited about this. I just got to get a windows seven installation going. Um, and of course other fun things I'm working on little projects. That is about all there is to this. This again, this was just a video of just me installing and playing around with editing. Thank you for watching. If you watched this, kudos to you. Thank you for wasting your time with me and not someone else. I really do appreciate that. If this video is well worth the waste of time, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And until next time, let's try to keep it simple.